Many wardrobes have strange symbols. It seems to me that I've seen something like this before. These symbols seem to keep these creatures out. The only place where I can have a sleep is these damn wardrobes. I can't figure out how to get out of this place. The only food I can find here is these rats, which swarm like wasps around my wounded body. They're waiting for me to breathe my last breath so that they could fill their little stomachs with my flesh. Ground phone lags the tone arm. Boy. How did you get to this place? Hey! Boy? Oh. locked. Golden key, the house key. Ah, the locker is locked. to hide. This creature haunts me.
My name is Henry Bishop, and I will tell you my horrible story. This story happened to me in the late 70s, and even the most terrible nightmare will seem only echoes of horror in comparison with those mysterious events which I participated in. I worked as a real estate agent, and we had an old mansion in the main which no one could sell. It was a dead weight in our company, as a stale product on the store shelf which was losing its value every day. After all, houses also have a shelf life. And then, one May morning, the silence of our office on the Fifth Avenue was broken by a telephone call. That call changed my whole life. It was a Mr. Johnson, a very strange client, who was willing to seize this old junk called house. And even the fact that a family of five people disappeared in this house did not frighten him. But on the contrary, it was the reason for such a strange purchase. After a brief conversation, my boss decided to send me to Stonebridge, to this provincial hall in Maine. My task was to inspect the house and make sure that it still didn't fall apart, and then to contact the client for a deal. My name is Henry Bishop. I will tell you my horrible story. Doing here. It is a private property. He locked me. Locked me up in this chest. Who locked you up? My master. It's all his fault. Master? I will find the key and set you free. And then I will take you to the sheriff. Dear Mr. Bishop, the wiring in old houses is not reliable, so I reassured and turned off the electricity. All you need is to find a switchboard and follow my instructions. Three starlings flew toward the light, the first below, the second above, and the third in the middle. Darkness comes there where light is turned on. A body has been found in Fur Lake. Fisherman Billy's body has been found today in the morning near Fur Lake. According to preliminary information, Billy was strangled, then his body was thrown into water. The sheriff rejected to comment on this brutal murder, stating that the perpetrator would certainly be found and get the punishment he deserved. We all mourn for Billy. To some people, he was just an acquaintance. To others, he was a friend. Anyway, he did not deserve such a terrible fate. There have never been such tragic events in our small town before.
little key. It's jammed. I need to pry it with something. April 5th, 1966. Today in the newspapers, they wrote that they had found a body of Fisherman Billy on the shore of Fur Lake. Someone killed him, but the murderer was never found. Now I'm very scared to return from the city when it's dark, so I asked Mr. Nelson not to give me errands, which might make me stay late, at least until they find the murderer. Nothing of that kind has ever happened in our quiet, peaceful town before. Now I need to look after the children carefully because they like to walk along the lakeshore very much. It's so scary to live near this place. Billy was always so kind to me. He was friends with my father. Dad, I miss you so much. April 15th, 1966. Mr. Nelson has been very concerned about something lately. He often locks himself in his office and stays there for several days. I wonder what does he do there? Miss Nelson is very anxious about it and she's constantly sad. I can surely say that I work in a very strange family and maybe I would leave, but I need money and they pay a good salary and I've become very attached to the children. Josh is always playing pirates and is trying to find some treasure. It even seemed to me that he himself had hidden some treasure in the courtyard of our house. May 22nd, 1966. Hello, my dear diary. I write my news here less and less, but it's not because I'm lazy. It's simply because there's no particular news. Today it's raining all day and me and the children are playing in the house. Mr. Nelson, as always, locked himself in his office and asked not to disturb him. June 1st, 1966. Today, Mr. Nelson ordered me to buy some things. He wants to sail to Africa. It's so romantic. I've always dreamed to travel and see the whole world, and there are so many exotic places in Africa. They even say that elephants walk in the streets there, and I've never seen an elephant in my life, only in pictures. I'm so happy for Mr. Nelson. He has even brightened up a little. Maybe when he returns, he will stop locking himself in his office. June 20th, 1966. Mr. Nelson has been acting very strange after his return from Africa. It seems to me that he is constantly watching me. He has become very polite and courteous. He has even raised my salary. To be honest, it scares me. Something has changed in him. I don't know what exactly, but he has become somehow different. Maybe he's fallen in love with me? I hope it's not true. If he starts to molest, I'll have to resign. But I've got so used to this house and the children, especially now when it's not so easy to find a good job. Well, I'm strong. I can handle it. 
July 2nd, 1966. Tonight I woke up and saw Mr. Nelson in my room. He was just sitting and staring at me. I got very scared. He didn't anyhow explain his presence, but simply said that he was worried about me. I can't take it anymore, and I told him that I would resign. But Mr. Nelson insisted that I stay for a short while until I find myself a new job. I agreed. Anyway, I have nowhere to go. But from now on, I will close my door at night. And just in case, I stole a kitchen knife, and now it's laying under my pillow. I'm scared. Toilet is clutched. There is no record here. Get out of here.
April 5th, 1966, old fisherman Billy saw me near the lake. He saw me experimenting on dead animals. I couldn't allow him to tell everyone about my experiments. These bumpkins would think I'm mad. They would whisper behind my back until they'd take pitchforks and torches and come to the threshold of my house. I couldn't let my family be attacked by the locals. They've already been suspecting something and snooping around since we moved into this house. My ship hasn't got into the open sea for a long time. Twenty long years have already passed since you've been gone, but there hasn't been a day when I haven't remembered you, my dear little sister. This all is for your sake, and I couldn't risk it. May God forgive me. April 10th, 1966. After the injection, which I bought on the black market from Chinese scientists, the dog's corpse showed signs of life, but there was a feeling that only nerve cells revived. It moved and tried to stand on its legs, but the eyes were still dead. Two hours later, the signs of life disappeared and the animal finally died. Even if I managed to revive a dead animal, what's the point if Alicia's body decayed in her grave long ago? I need to get to the very essence, reach out for her soul. I don't know yet what I'll come to. But I believe that I move in the right direction, in spite of the attacks of my wife, who claims that I've gone mad. May 19th, 1966. I tried everything I could. Science is powerless in reviving the dead. All famous psychics turned out to be charlatans. They can't help me. Oh, Alicia, my little Alicia, I miss you so much. I feel bitterness of guilt because of your death, and over the years I've become even more sad. I often imagine how you could look now, grown up and beautiful. I imagine us coming to visit each other, getting our families together, and our children playing in the backyard. I can't retreat. Not now. Too many years have been spent on finding a way. I feel that the truth is already near. June 1st, 1966. Today I visited my old mate George Donovan. He works as an archaeologist and he told me a very interesting story. There is supposedly a savage tribe Mansu in Africa. There are a lot of mystical rumors and tales about it. He told me they worshipped some ancient deity called Kulungu. They say they can revive the dead and George's colleagues witnessed it. Is it really true? And after so many years of my search, I finally managed to find some kind of clue? I need to pick up the anchor right now. I'm going to Africa. June 18th, 1966. My journey to Africa was a success. I managed to find the ancient Mansu tribe. At first, the shaman refused to help me, but even in wild countries, as in the civilized world, money is everything. In exchange for my generous gifts, I managed to persuade the shaman to teach me voodoo magic, black magic. Alas, my dialect doesn't allow me to pronounce the spells correctly, so I had to record all his rituals to vinyl disc. Now I have ancient spells which will help me reach the dead soul, but I need a sacrifice to complete the ritual, a body for transmigration of the soul. Alicia, I think Elizabeth's body will be perfect for you, but Elizabeth will have to go through trials to complete the ritual successfully and find Alicia's soul, and it scares me. July 3rd, 1966. Everything is ready. Today it will happen. Alicia will come back to me in the form of Elizabeth. Sister, today we will reunite. So many years have passed since the terrible day, but against all odds, I've believed that someday this would happen. I hope Elizabeth won't feel anything because there was a drastic soporific substance made from African sumin root in the milk. I brought her before going to bed. Sleep well, Elizabeth. You were a good servant. You were affectionate with the children and very courteous with me. I'm really sorry that I'll have to do it. Forgive me. I cannot do otherwise. Stereo Senora, Stray Quell, 
I'll grab a phone, and I think it doesn't work. This doll seems to be watching me. How can I get out of this place? There's a hole in this slab. The door is locked. One of the mana queens has no arms. There's no record here.
Music box. Try to knock it down. Hmm. <laughs> 
smo kao da sa tutom umfa. Od tamo se stelio se na vrat. Prequel. A to im padno kam kaj delio sa. Vikua telo, vikua telo. Kretu manfa, a mletu su telo. A salvaru si po, kompatio gora ta. The door is locked. I need to find the key. March 19th. Now I would not forget the password for the safe as I did last time, and even if I forget, I will always be able to go to the cemetery and remember that sad year when Holy Roman left us. The main thing is not to go there at night, because at night the dead come alive. Many times I saw their girl sacrificed to Kolongu.
door is locked. Wait, don't kill me. I'm not a monster. Who are you, girl? How did you get here? My name is Alicia. I have been locked in this place for many years. What happened? Black magic is to blame. It was them who locked me in here. Help me, please. But how can I help you? Take me with you. This record will be the last on your journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Do this mannequin swan to kill a girl. Is it she? Did I make it? <clears throat> oh, what? My name's Henry. What the hell? Where is Alicia? Where is my sister? Why haven't you taken her with you? Your sister is a monster. She died many years ago. You cannot play God. You cannot return the dead. For many years, I've been trying to bring her 
back to life. She died because of me in that fire. When we were children, it was me who set fire to our house. Alicia was upstairs and could not escape. I made too many sacrifices for Kurogu, but I couldn't... But I couldn't bring her back. None of them ever went through the ritual to the end. Only you succeeded. But you ruined everything! You didn't take her with you! Goodbye, Henry Bishop. I wake up, Alicia. Is it she? Did I make it? <clears throat> Ah, Robert? Alicia, you're back. I've tried so many years, and finally I've managed to get you back. Robert, you got so old. Why, why do I have a male body? I prefer the ritual over women. But they were all weak. Only his body was strong. Only he could go through the ritual to the end. The main thing is that you are alive. Oh, Robert. Where are our parents? They died many years ago. The main thing is that now we are together. So many things have changed in the world. I have so much to tell you. Francis, we have to go. Hey everyone, it is Kenna. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This is kind of my first foray, foray I can talk into doing like a walkthrough. Hopefully I didn't screw it up too much. Um, but if you like the video, definitely think about leaving me a like. Uh, it helps me. It feeds my soul. It feeds that pesky YouTube algorithm. If you didn't like it, you can leave a dislike as well. It's, I mean, it's an option. Uh, think about subscribing. I'd love to have you as part of my channel and leave a comment. Let me know what you think down below. Um, did you like the game? Did you not like the game? Would you like to see more of these types of videos, like walkthroughs? I, I like hearing from you all. But that is it. I will plan to see you all Monday. So you all take care. Have a wonderful weekend. And again, thank you for watching. Bye!